Hi there, I'm Miles Peterson, and you're watching the 3D Engineer. And it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded any content on my channel, and I do apologize for that. You know, the, the holidays started coming around and people were getting sick, so I could not upload then. But I'm feeling a lot better now, and I thought that a quick update short would be in order. So that's more or less what this video is going to be. If you haven't seen this already, this is my miniature Super Cyrex. Man, this thing has gone through quite a lot of changes over the uh, past couple weeks, with one of them being the horn and horn mount. Uh, the horn mount has been completely redone. Uh, it's now much more accurate to the real thing. It screws onto the horn, unlike before, where it used a snap-in-place system. Uh, it just screws onto there with four M2 or number two screws, although I recommend M2s as they fit better. In this case, I just used M2 screws that I got from a kit, and painted them gold so they would match the number two screws that the rest of the siren uses. Same can be said here with the brackets that uh, attach to the horn. <clears throat> that kind of just goes inside the horn there, and if you can see that, there's the seven port rotor. Uh, really cool there. Now one of the biggest changes that this has gone through is the core assembly. Uh, here's the seven and ten port rotors and stators. The rotors are now resin printed, I just wanted to print them on my resin printer, because I thought that that would make them higher quality. And it certainly did. These things came out really good. They still use weights, a uh, two-inch fender washer. Uh, this thing spins incredibly smooth with those bearings in there. So these bearings really do help out, and I recommend using them. And one of the biggest changes that I've gone through on this is the rotator. Like, this thing rotates incredibly smoothly. Like, th this is great. If you've printed this siren yourself and you're having rotator problems, I highly recommend reprinting this part, because uh, it's just... It's had some problems in the past uh, holding weight. What I think is cool is that with the new design, you literally don't have to worry about adding weights to the back of the shroud. I still have mine, but I could totally take those off and this thing would work just fine without them. Alright, I know y'all want to hear this and I only got like 30 seconds left in this short, so here we go. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I'm Miles Peterson, and you stay creative.